This is my YouTube channel growth strategy for 2024. And I'm grateful the last handful of videos have gotten fantastic views, have gained my channel subscribers, and the audience engagement has been fantastic. So thank you so much for that. Now, recently I was looking at my YouTube analytics and I found this little summary on how viewers are finding my video. This really creates the perfect channel strategy because ultimately there's three primary algorithms and thus three primary traffic sources that we can get views from. And they are search, suggested, and browse. And 41% of my views are coming from YouTube browse, which is a really easy way to get views from YouTube. Home is what viewers first see when they visit YouTube and you want your next video to be right there waiting for them on the home screen of YouTube. It's really easy, you just have to follow a few simple guidelines. Oh, and do this, think about publishing not just a video, but think about building out a YouTube playlist based on a number of videos, like I did here with iMovie. This allows viewers to go deep, watch multiple videos, because it's on the same topic and it triggers the algorithm. And this information was actually taken from a YouTube white paper written by YouTube on how the algorithm works. And check it out. Important user history. An example, consider the user's past history with the channel that uploaded the video being scored. And YouTube goes on and mentions this. How many videos has the user watched from this particular channel. So in other words, if you've watched a few of my videos recently, it's gonna be more likely that YouTube serves my video to your homepage as you click in to YouTube, and that's a really helpful thing. But sadly, this is where so many YouTubers screw it up. And furthermore, they mention when was the last time the user watched a video on this particular topic. Now, this is where it gets really powerful. When you can stick to one particular niche and you can really identify what the viewers in that niche want, the type of videos they're watching, and you start making those, well then here's what happens. One, you're publishing videos on the topic that viewers are watching, and two, if viewers are watching your videos again and again, you're gonna be more likely to get your videos served to those viewers. And then YouTube mentions to me that these videos were found on home. One, incredible YouTube update. Two, reviving a dead channel. And then number three, reviving a dead YouTube channel, which is the second video in a series playlist that I'm working on. Now, notice the red text. It's based on the amount of views being driven. So the first video drove 17,000 views, but I need to warn you, it's not enough just to move forward and publish videos. I want you to focus on three specific metrics, CTR, average view duration, and subscriber gain. And I wanna give you the numbers to hit. In other words, if you publish a five minute video, well, how long do you need to keep viewers watching? Well, keep watching and I'll break it down. But more important than the views, because the views isn't how to get more views. You've gotta get viewers to engage. So this particular video, well, not only did it get 17,000 views, but 250 of those viewers, they became subscribers, and that sends a powerful message to YouTube. Viewers like this video, let's push it out to even more viewers. And then the same thing is present on all of these videos that drove more views. Let's talk about those analytics. I want you to think about five minute videos and 10 minute videos. If you're publishing a video that's five minutes, you wanna gain at least 60% average view duration or percentage watched for that video. So if it's a five minute video, think about keeping viewers watching for at least three minutes. This is a great place to start and you've gotta keep viewers watching if you want success on YouTube. But what about CTR? Five to 10% for every video you publish and pay attention to the results you're driving on every single video and simply aim to improve. 
And then the big one, the one that I think a lot of YouTubers miss, which is subscriber gain. You want to convert 2% of non-subscribers for every video you publish. So I just looked at a video that I published based on SEO and some ninja tactics. And by the way, I literally called that video. In the video, I said this video probably won't be a number one, but I bet it drives views over time. And sure enough, not only did it do that, but it got a lot of subscribers for the amount of views that were coming in. It converted between two and two and a half percent of non-subscribed viewers. And that's what I wanna encourage you to do. Strive to get viewers to subscribe. And you can do that by simply asking, telling them, adding a lower third that mentions subscribe. And furthermore, the best way is to strive to communicate in a clear way, to add a voiceover that's compelling, to think about an angle that's interesting and different, even if it's on a trending topic, create something that's unique to your channel. If this seems hard, it is hard, but I guarantee over time, it'll help you to move forward. One more thing, and then this next traffic source is really powerful, and I think as we move forward, you'll see why, and it may change the way you think or the strategy that you have in place in order to dominate YouTube. Check this out. This is the top searches that led to viewers finding your particular video. The first one doesn't really count. It's people wondering what I'm up to and they wanna see my last video. The second one, the YouTube update. Well, remember that first video that I had that did well in browse, it also did really well in YouTube search. Other search terms included YouTube algorithm 2024, YouTube tags to get views, powerful because it's gaining my channel subscribers. And then this last search term that's kind of weird, a target market. Turns out that video was published in March of 2017, six to seven years ago, and it's still driving views today. The more you're able to understand what viewers are searching for, and furthermore, you can really analyze and break down how competitive those search terms are, the more likely you can get a lot of views over time. Another really powerful strategy, notice this search term once again, YouTube algorithm 2024. Well, 2024 is a new search term. I've called these just born search terms because when you understand how viewers think, what they search for, and you can anticipate their movements, how they're gonna act on YouTube in the future, you can really tap into a lot of easy views. As you move forward and you're publishing these videos, I want you to pay attention to the real-time analytics as you're publishing. And I want you to look for one special type of a video. And that would be a video that's been published, say, two or three weeks ago. And you can see it's starting to pick up steam. And I want you to pay attention to where the views are coming from. It literally says it right in real-time analytics. And if you see it's doing well in search, then simply go to that video, click on Reach. From reach, pay attention to traffic sources and you can identify actually the search terms that are driving views. Sure enough, this particular video is starting to pick up steam and notice that the views are picking up and it's outperforming other videos on my channel because it's driving views in search. Not a lot, but this is how it starts when we're gaining an audience. You can really identify the keyword it's doing well for, and then you can configure your title, your video title, you can update it to rank and improve your results. I actually did that on a video I'll be publishing soon. It's on the screen now if I published. If not, I wanna encourage you to subscribe, stick around, and watch some of my additional videos on SEO. You dig?